Welcome to Family Week. Today we're dodging and burning, and I've got a question that's going to make your head work. Hey guys, welcome to Flirt. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. This is Family Week, which means we're editing images uh, that were done by people in the family. And this image is a contest winner. This image is by Wasif, who's a longtime family member, Wasif. This goes out to you. Um, this is a really cool image. Um, before we get into it, I, I'm going to dodge and burn, but to be honest, I was looking at this image, and uh, we'll post it down below. Um, I was looking at this image and trying to figure out like what I would do to it, and most of what came to mind was, um, like, I, I couldn't figure out what to do with it, this image for a while, and I also really couldn't figure out what this image is about. Um, make no mistake, I actually really like this image a lot. Like, I, I think it's great, and it kind of makes me question what is going on in the image. Um, it doesn't seem to tell a whole story, but I, I was kind of thinking about that. With my images in particular, I like to tell a whole story. So it kind of challenges me a little bit when an image doesn't tell a whole story or when I don't understand everything. But then I was thinking about like Pulp Fiction and you know how they have the, the thing in the briefcase that like drives the whole story. Um, but like they never show you what the thing in the briefcase is. It's just like what everyone wants. And it's like, well, they're not really telling the whole story, but it's still, it's interesting in that way. So this image to me is like, it's really interesting. It doesn't tell me the whole story. There's just enough detail in there to like, what's going on here? Um, and, and that's why I think it's really, really cool. So um, what is your guys' opinion? Um, not just on this image. If you guys want to talk about what's Steve's image, make sure to tell him it's cool because it really is. Um, but what do you guys think? Like, it, w what about it is like, you know, telling a different story or like not telling the whole story? Do you guys have other examples or have you seen any other types of, uh, you know, photographs that like they kind of hint at a story but don't really tell it but also still make it interesting? I don't know. Let's just get a discussion going on here because I think it's a really interesting topic and um, it's a cool image. So we're going to start dodging and burning because um, that's all I think that this image needs. It doesn't need anything, but we're just going to do it anyway because you are probably watching Flirn to Learn Something. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's do that. All right. We're going to get started. Um, the only like couple of things that I see that I actually do want to fix on this image, and um, it, th again, these are not like big deals at all. Um, I think our exposure here on the hand is just a little bit too hot, maybe here as well. Um, just that's maybe a little bit too bright. Um, I like this kind of fog that's coming in here. I would maybe extend this down a little bit. Um, and then I thought like a little bit of dodging and burning here on the chairs help might help like bring out the texture in those. Maybe a little bit of dodging and burning on the hands. And then maybe we could bring the detail up in on, on the head there, really, not, like not a lot. But um, that's really it. Like it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's start off with this hands here um, because that's going to be the hardest thing to fix. And uh, it's also going to be the most rewarding thing to fix. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. We're going to go to curves. I'm going to click and drag this down quite a bit. If you saw yesterday's episode, um, I would suggest watching it if you haven't, but we used a similar method. Uh, we're using curves and then we're using apply image to only have this curves visible where the layer is lighter. And this is going to help us control the light areas. It's going to help us bring light areas darker. Okay. So we're going to go to light layers here again. I'm going to go to image and then down to apply image. There we go. And you want to keep these settings. Um, you want to say merge your channels, RGB, multiply 100. And we don't want to click on invert for this option because we want the brighter areas to be affected. So we're going to hit okay. So what this does is we've got a curves adjustment layer. You can see it just brought, brought that area down. Now here's what our layer mask looks like. You can see this is only visible now where the layer under it was bright. So what it did is it took the brighter areas and dragged them down in brightness a little bit. And basically, that's just kind of fixing this exposure issue that we see there. Um, if you want to go even further with it, you can do so. Now that we have our layer mask, you can just keep on dragging this down if you want to. But you're going to start getting a little bit of weirdness uh, with, with your color and things like that. So, like, there's a little bit too much yellow in there. I'm sure you guys see it. So we'll, like, pump a little bit of blue now in there. Kind of counteract that. And a little bit of red and a little bit of green. Maybe we'll bring that up just a tiny bit. Yeah, there we go. So our color is looking a little bit more natural now. And I don't mind this area up there, so I'm gonna group this layer with itself, put a layer mask on that group. 
invert the layer mask and then I really only want this uh, to be visible like where the hands are because I, I don't want this to darken you'll be able to see like you see this layer mask it was darkening up here too and I don't want that so we're just gonna have it just darken the hands a little bit there and there we go kind of fixing our exposure with that and again it's not a big deal it was just it's a little bit uh, too bright because it kind of drew it drew my eye right to the hands um, which is not a horrible thing but um, it's something that I can show you guys how to do in Photoshop so <laughs> I was gonna do it all right let's do the same thing or a similar thing with the hair there I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer we'll go to curves again this time I don't think I'll actually need to do any kind of apply image or anything weird like that um, we'll just drag that up hit command I on my layer mask and then here I'll paint with white at about a 10% flow and we're just gonna bring the brightness of the hair up just a bit there we go darken that so just a little bit more visible all right nothing crazy but if you have some detail it's it's not a horrible idea to just bring that detail out because you know if you got it flaunt it all right I'm gonna grab a curves adjustment layer now we're gonna do a little bit of dodging and burning uh, basically here on the chairs and then I think I might change the color of these chairs a little bit too to help it uh, um, you know contrast the the color of the floor a little bit okay so we're gonna click and drag this up make this really bright now I'm gonna double click on this layer we're gonna do these kind of separate each chair separately and I'm gonna hold alt and we're gonna click on the underlying layer here there we go and I'm just gonna choose about where I want this to be visible there we go and this is this isn't like a real dodge and burn this is kinda of like my method of dodging and burning that I'm using right now but it's as good as any so there <laughs> now we're gonna click on command I'm gonna hit command I on the layer mask there and um, we're gonna bring this in and you can kinda of see that like if I just go like this on this area there it's gonna kinda of allow that area to come through a bit more there we go let's just bring that up like that cool so this is kind of just like it's bringing in some of that detail um, it's like a very controlled dodge and burn I wouldn't even call it dodging and burning I don't know what it is it just makes it look cool it's like a very controlled make it look cool how I do my dodging and burning I do uh, I create a new layer I change this from normal down here to soft light and then I just paint with uh, white and black so like white on the areas that I want to be lighter and then black on the areas that I want to be darker so let's make this a little bit lighter that'll be a little bit darker that'll be a little bit lighter all right we'll make a dark thing under there I know it's very uh, scientific right paint some dark over there paint some lighter there. <laughs> that's pretty much it I mean uh, dodging and burning is very subjective and it's very much like you know whatever you want it's however you want your image to look um, you can either you know go relatively subtle with it or get carried away either one um, I usually try to go a little bit more on the subtle side than on you know the carried away side but depends on what the image calls for right and if it's too much like if you did an area you don't like like this area I don't like that so I'm gonna grab my eraser tool and just erase out there we go and then you can just paint it back if you want to all right so there we go or is our dodge and burn if you want to change just one color grab your hue saturation go to change from master to like reds or yellows or greens it doesn't matter um, and then grab this eyedropper and now you can just click on the color you want to change um, to be sure you have a whole color what I usually do is I crank up my saturation and like my hue I just go crazy with it and then this guy down here at the bottom I'm gonna hold down control just zoom in this is like a little cool little slider where you can choose to include more or less so I'm gonna click in the middle here and just kind of drag this in both ways and like see you can see how that's affecting now that's kind of looks like a chameleon which is actually kind of looks cool um, if it's not catching enough area what you want to do is you can click this slider and like drag it out a little bit and it's gonna make sure it, it it's affecting more of an area there we go so you can see that the color back on that side of the couch is vastly different from the rest okay so now that we can see what color about is going to be affected um, you just want to bring these back to zero 
Okay, and then I'm gonna pull my hue in and I'm just gonna add a little bit more yellow into that. There we go. And this is like 100% just because I want to do it. But um, I, I feel that if we have some red there, then maybe I can just grab some blue. We'll just do curves for this because I like curves, if you haven't uh, noticed. <laughs> if you've been watching Flurn at all, I like curves because they're great. So why wouldn't I like them? There. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue in the floor. Let's grab the green. I'll put a little bit of green in there so it's not so like weird blue. There we go. So again, this was like totally, I just wanted to do it. I don't even know if I like it more. I'm going to group those and lower the opacity on that because I think I like it less. So I'll lower the opacity until I actually like it. And then, you know, that's, that's good. Okay, cool. So getting that kind of in the same color range. Um, but there we go. That's uh, We just did all that stuff. Oh, if we want to make this a little bit brighter. Um, what I would do, because I like to, is I just grab this color and then with like a brush, I would just like paint over here and be like, oh, cool brush. Or, you know what? This is cool. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Make a new layer, hit shift backspace. Fill this with 50% uh, gray, go to filter, go to render, go to clouds. All right, so we have uh, clouds rendered now. Actually, I need to make my colors black and white because it, it'll render the clouds as the colors that you have selected. So we'll go to filter, we'll go to clouds again. It'll render with this color now. Um, I'm gonna double click on this layer, tell it only visible where this layer is lighter, just like that. We're gonna change this to something like a soft light layer if you wanted to do that and then you can bring this in over here put a layer mask on it invert the layer mask and then paint in some more of that but this time instead of just grabbing a brush tool you actually have some texture to it which is neat and if you want to you can like make it bigger uh, just like that Cool, so I just added some texture in there. And you're like, what? How did you do that? So cool and so quick. And then I'm like, guess what? You can just rewind it and look again. <laughs> oh, I love the internet, it's wonderful. Love it. All right, let's shift click all these layers and uh, group, those, group those together. So here's the before and the after that. Um, again, not vastly different. We just fixed a little bit of exposure here and here, added some clouds, dodged and burn, and did some color work on it. Um, I, I think the image was strong before. Is it much stronger now? No, not really, but it's a little bit different and we did some kind of cool stuff, so that's all fun. But mostly I wanna know, what do you guys think about images that don't tell an entire story and what do you get out of this image? Um, I get maybe there was uh, someone problem with uh, drug use and then someone's either laying on the floor because they got shot because a bad drug deal went down or I just don't know and, and I kind of like that. So what do you guys think? Let me know. We'll just get a discussion going on. Thanks for watching Flurn guys. I'll flirt you later. I want to go to whatever party this guy was at.